Okay, so that's uh, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. The deluxe edition. Okay. Now we have Friday the 13th, part 5. A new beginning deluxe edition. Uh, the cover on this one's not quite as good as the final chapter. But I guess it, it's okay. It's just okay. Um, I have a newfound respect for this film now. Again, that's thanks to CK and Uncle Bill at DeadPit.com. Uh, they love this film. They can't say enough good things about this film. So, due to that, that encouraged me to give this one another look. And I must say that I do have a newfound respect for this film as part of the Friday the 13th franchise. Okay. Um, as far as special features go again, um, there is a very good commentary uh, by director and co-screenwriter Danny Steinman with cast and crew. I enjoyed the commentary. Uh, again, the I think that the uh, Dead Pit commentary should have been on here as well, but Paramount sucks and they didn't put it on there. Uh, again, Lost Tales from Camp Blood Part 5. You can take it or leave it. It's not really anything fantastic. Uh, the Crystal Lake Massacres Revisited Part 2. Again, sort of interesting, a little hokey, but still worth watching. Uh, New Beginnings, The Making of Friday 13 Part 5, A New Beginning, uh, original and the original theatrical trailer. Again, good film, good entry into the franchise. Give it a look. And if, you, if you're not so sure about it, give it a look again. I, I think you will enjoy it. Okay, I will be back really soon. So the next one I have is another deluxe edition. This one is for Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Again, you know, pretty decent cover. Holographic cover there. Um, I still, I think my favorite has to be the final chapter one though. Even though this one is better than the Part 5 one. Okay. And as far as special features again, uh, let's see. This one has commentary by director Tom McLaughlin with cast and crew. It has that lousy Lost Tales from Camp Blood Part 6. Uh, the Crystal Lake Massacres Revisited Part 3. Jason Lives the Making of Friday 13th Part 6, which was a pretty decent featurette. Uh, meeting Mr. Voorhees, which it was interesting. Um, I would have liked to have seen actual footage, but the way they did it was was still interesting and still gave you a sense of what the scene would have been if if they had actually had the actual scene in the film. Uh, there are also some slash scenes. Again, a little more gore in some of the scenes that the uh, MPAA um made the uh, filmmakers cut out and there's also an original theatrical teaser trailer so again this is uh, I'm not gonna describe the plot to this Friday the 13th film to you because uh, anybody that's been interested in horror films for any amount of time knows the Friday the 13th series uh, so there's no sense in me giving a detailed review other than to tell you what's on this DVD. Okay. So the next one is, of course, it's not a horror movie. Uh, this is some kind of wonderful, it's part of the I Love 80's collection. And this is actually a film that was produced by John Hughes. It wasn't directed by John Hughes. Uh, it was actually directed by Howard Dutch or Dutch. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, 
it's essentially I haven't watched it yet I will be honest about that um, but I'm thinking this is going to be one of those typical 80's teenage uh, kind of comedy slash drama movies that they had uh, back in the mid to late 80's uh, stuff like The Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink uh, things of that nature that I really liked at that time and I still like like them and will watch them. This particular one has Eric Stoltz and Mary Stewart Masterson. Uh, Leah Thompson's in this. Craig Sheffer's in it. Um, and it's, it's you know, it, it says think everyone over 17 has forgotten what it's like to be 16. Filmmaker John Hughes hasn't. Now Hughes delivers another funny, savvy, crowd-pleasing look at adolescence in a story about a high school misfit who falls head over heels for the senior class siren that he's blind to the charms of his beautiful and devoted best pal. So some fun, some heartache, some kind of wonderful. And again, I think it's going to be typically one of those 80s teen comedy drama films uh, that we've all come to most of us have come to know and love over the past uh, few years. Um, so I'm really looking forward to watching this and maybe I can do another update when I have actually watched it to let you know um, how good the film stands up. Especially against stuff like Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink and things of, of that sort. Okay. Uh, the next one is um, one of the five dollar films or five fifty films I picked up at Walmart. Uh, as most of you probably know, they no longer have the bins at most of the Walmarts. They have a, a shelf, like a bookshelf, um, and they put their five dollar films on that little shelf. So there's not a lot to pick through. I know the bins were kind of a pain in the butt, you know, because you'd have like 15 or 20 people trying to look at those bins at one time and things were just piled one on top of the other. But it was fun. It was fun to dig through those and be able to find uh, some real gems in there sometime for just a little bit of nothing. Um, but anyway, this one I found, it's horror. Uh, do not watch alone. There are 20 films on this. And uh, there are several big names in a lot of these movies. Uh, Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, Carl Malden, Barbara Steele, Anita Ekberg, and James Earl Jones, believe it or not. Um, some of the films I already have. Uh, you're probably thinking, well, you crazy person. Why did you, why did you buy this 20, 20 films when a lot of them you already have? Um... Well, sometimes I like to just pull out a disc that has all these on it and watch them. Plus, there were several of the ones that were included on on these uh, discs that I do not have. Uh, of course, uh, Night of the Living Dead I do have. Um, the original House on Haunted Hill. Uh, Carnival of Souls. I Bury the Living. Uh, the Undertaker and His Pals. Let's see, Disc 2 has The Ghost, Dominique is Dead, A Name for Evil, Nightmare Castle, and Dementia 13. Uh, Disc 3 has Count Dracula and His Vampire Brides, The Last Man on Earth, Fangs of the Living Dead, The Picks, uh, which has Karen Black on it, by the way, and Blood Tide. Uh, I started watching Blood Tide um, the other day. And I was expecting 